Hey everybody, Dr. Kevin Green here with NA Wellness Center in Beverly, Massachusetts. Uh, so we've been talking about concussions this month. Um, so we've talked about uh, some things to look for, um, you know, some things to take to supplement to help with the healing process. Now what I want to talk about is some things to avoid during, during that healing process from post-concussion syndrome. So we have a few things listed here. So, you know, this is kind of a no-brainer, an obvious one, no pun intended, but, uh, you know, contact sports. Anything that's going to cause jarring, you know, we need to give our brain a rest. You know, again, our brain naturally shuts itself down when it needs to repair. But if it's not shut down and we're still in that healing process, we still need to be aware, cognizant of what we're doing to protect that brain. So nothing jarring, jumping jacks, you know, um, being careful in the car, you know, and again, contact sports is, is a big one. People don't really think about this, but um, sugar is inflammatory. Your brain really likes sugar and it's, you know, a very excitatory uh, type of um, stimulant, but that's not what we need when we're trying to heal. So you need to limit your sugar intake and certainly your refined carbs. You want to stick to, like we said, the healthy fats, you know, nuts, proteins um, and you know if you're going to get some carbs from our our starches or, or healthy fruits things like that um, reducing stress you know we talked about you know maybe lessening the the workload or lessening some of the the schoolwork that has to be done and you know whatever this may be for you whatever this may look like i know for me a big stress reliever is you know breathing techniques and meditation and then last but not least hey listen you know if you're hurting um, especially early on in the acute phase, you know, you know, may need some medications, some over-the-counter medications, or even some prescription medications. But one thing to understand is that these do not only slow the healing process, but they can cause damage to our internal organs, our, our liver, our kidneys, and they can lead to addiction. So we really have to be careful, you know, if anything, early on with some of this stuff, but really try to limit it as much as possible. And like I said all along, you know, come in, get checked, checked out, you know, headaches are very common. They can be from, you know, post-concussion syndrome or some of the leftover effects of, of a neck injury. And the only real, real way to know what's going on in there is to get checked out by a professional, get checked out by a chiropractor. So certainly give our office a call. Typically an exam and x-rays is about $285 in our office. But if you come in, if you give us a call, just mention that you saw our concussion series, you know, we'll do that complete evaluation, a neuro test, any necessary x-rays, movement assessment, just for $47. Um, if you have any questions, please reach out to me or reach out to the office. Uh, you can reach me directly at my email at drkevin at innatewellnesscenter.com, the number eight. Um, and you can also call the office at 978 927 8466. Hope to hear from you soon. Have a great day.